If you wasn't here last night and you don't know RTB, I'll tell you real quick that I was uh, instantly cured of an alcohol addiction. And uh, it happened three years ago. And I want to tell you that uh, I always cry when I get through my testimony. And I don't ever want God to take that from me. But uh, <laughs> three years ago on Christmas Eve night of 2020, I put my face on a concrete and blacktop in Daniels, West Virginia. And uh, I, I tell the story that I... I, every time I prayed, I never felt anything when I'd pray. I, I felt guilt or, you know, I was like, Lord, get me out of trouble. Get me out of all the, the mess I'm in. And I promise, Lord, if I do this, if you do this, I won't do it again. And, you know, I lied so many times to God. In my heart, you know, I didn't know who God was. And uh, Tad Dameron started giving me the gospel. And for about three months, he had me sing these gospel songs. And these gospel songs changed my, my whole persona. And these words started working on my heart, my soul. And on Christmas Eve night of 2020, I came home. And I was outside looking. And guys, I was at a place where I wanted to die in my life. I thought my family would be better off dead than me alive. And that's the truth. And I remember that I had nowhere else to turn. And I started talking to God. And I kept hearing in my head. I didn't hear a voice, but I kept hearing this voice in my body, my, in my heart that said, how disrespectful, get on your knees. And I promise you, I got on my knees and I prayed the same old meaningless prayers. And I was about to get up and Tad told me his testimony one time, how he prayed on his face. And I remember when I laid my face on that concrete that I didn't pray anymore, I started crying. I started literally crying and apologizing for all the bad, all the horrible I've done to my family and my wife and my kids and, and my, my parents. And guys, I'm telling you, out of all that misery, a joy came over me that I can't describe to you unless you have this joy. A peace came over me that I can't describe to you. It was the best high, the greatest high that a drug couldn't do, that alcohol couldn't do for me. And I've never been the same since that night. I promise you guys, I give this testimony different every time. But God did that for me and He will do that for you. I promise you, because God loves you as He loves me. And I was nothing. I'm still nothing. I'm filthy rags. But God seen it. A humbled man. I humbled myself. And if I could say something to let you know how you can get this peace before you leave this auditorium. Because you don't know if this is your last day on earth. You don't know what's going to And I'm not trying to scare you. Because it's not about being scared. It's about salvation. Because if you die today, Without God in your life, hell is where you're headed. There's a, that's the only place. And that's the truth. If you do not give your heart and your soul to the Lord, I promise you, man, this may be the only opportunity. I'm not scaring you, but I hope. And I, this altar is right here. It's always open. And He can take any addiction, marriage problems, children problems, anything you got. Listen, God's here. And the people are here that will pray with you. I promise you.